testing my fix I'm testing my fix looking at a problem in Inkscape and I'm testing my fix hmm okay what do we have one stroke custom ah <sighs> no that didn't work but numbers are wrong okay back to the code uh, plane da -da 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 -da. Has anybody ever noticed that this code is in French? Do, 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 do. Hmm. Ah, shoot. I've got an update vi video to do. I need to get, in, get a move on. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this update uh, for my Patreons, but also for other people who are watching online. Uh, first of all, I want to give a big thank you to everybody who uh, who continues to support me and this uh, this development of Inkscape. Um, I believe that we can continue to make Inkscape better and make it better faster so that people's uh, use of Inkscape can be as nice as any other tool. So thank you very much for um, helping make this possible. Uh, please do share this video and my updates um, on social me media and in other places. Uh, so hopefully we can get some more people on board. Um, okay, let's let's get down down to it. So so the first thing um, that bug I was just trying trying to fix uh, is to do with the um, the way in which the the stroke to path works. Uh, we currently have a bounding box issue. It's causing some problems, uh, but I'll get that fixed next week. Uh, the filter area adjustments, I got that managed to be merged in. That's where you create a blur and it adjusts how much of the screen it uh, takes up. Um, oh, I probably should be explaining what I'm doing. So Inkscape is now in freeze, which means that uh, there are no new fe features going in. We are fixing problems. So uh, this is me basically running down all of the most important issues, the things that people have given their thumbs up to the most on Git GitLab. And also lis listening to my patrons if they come to me with specific issues and then uh, trying to fix those issues. Um, so, so yeah, so I've got some merge requests in. So bug fi fixes this week. We have a long-standing copy and paste problem where Inkscape would pop up loads of boxes whenever you try to uh, copy from Inkscape and paste it into something else. Um, and that was basically because extensions were causing errors, like the, some clipboard managers basically caused Inkscape to freak out and, and run every single ext extension. Um, that should be fixed. It shouldn't be possible now to, to cause a, a pop-up. Uh, there were loads of issues with the um, cascading style sheet and selectors di dialog. Um, most of you pr probably don't use this di dialog. It's pretty new, but it's also um, kind of interesting. It's where it allows you to use um, cascading style sheets uh, in, in in your SVG file. Um, it's a bit like swat swatches, but it's more technical. Um, and there was just a bunch of issues. Like, like a really interesting one was that it um, was creating a list of objects that were in each of the selectors and then it was creating another list of the same objects in those selectors and then it would crash when those two lists weren't the same and so to fix that problem i removed one of the lists uh, because why would you list the same objects twice um, and that solved quite a few issues uh, i also managed to fix a problem where it was um wasn't updating itself so you click on objects and it, it didn't happen that happened with the new tabs that, that crept in um i added a calendar feature to the to the website uh because the next uh inkscape board meet, meet, meeting was uh, was scheduled for the first of Jan january uh that obviously can't happen so it's got it's been pushed out a week to the 8th of Jan january but the website calendar system that i built uh didn't have that fe feature um, so I had to add a feature to, to the website to um, basically make sure the calendar could ha handle exceptions. Um, I fixed the preferences di di dialog because we, with the new tabs, uh, it basically made it really small. Um, the new tab system is really, really good. We've been wanting to do it for a while now, but we knew that merging it in would cause a lot of issues. And this is the kind of cl clean up that we need to do now. Um, I also made it so that the ruler, the ruler for the for the unit adjustment, uh, can stretch the entire preferences di dialog, which is important if you want to see more of that. 
Um, I spent too much time looking into the Wacom tablet issues on Win Windows. Basically, you have a touch screen or you plug in a Wacom tablet and Inkscape and GIMP and several other things didn't show anything. Um, just like it didn't exist. Sometimes the touch would work and sometimes it wouldn't. And um, I'll be honest with, with, with you, I don't think it's fixable. Uh, not in Inkscape. It's one of those deep operating system slash uh, GNOME problems that we, we'd probably need a specialist developer to look at. Uh, people might be interested in this. If you use the eraser tool a lot, one of the requests from a good friend of mine, Tim, who runs the social media for Springscape, uh, he very kindly and, and, and meekly came to me and went, oh, I have this specific issue with, uh, with the layers that dialogue. You opened the layers dialogue and, and the eraser tool stopped fun fun functioning. And it would cause, you know, like the, the red um, paint that you paint with the eraser tool and then it's supposed to disappear. And it, and it doesn't, it just stays around. And this was caused by trying to manipulate the selections uh, in order to do the, 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 the difference in the eraser tool. And it should never have been modifying the selections. We, we have special uh, container objects for, for those things. So uh, swapping that out um, kind of fixed that. Oh, Kitty's upset because it's raining outside. It's okay. Um, and I, I spent a, a fair bit of time te testing pro problems. Some issues that were reported pre previously have already been fixed. You know, like I tested them and then they were gone. Uh, if you're interested in helping, this is a great opportunity to basically go into the GitLab, uh, look at the problems, see if things might affect you, and then test them. Test them both with the 1.0 and also with the development builds. Um, and then you can report what you, what you find. Let's say hello. Yeah, that's uh, Miss Miss Mister Bar Barnaby there. Um, so I think that's it for this week's update. Uh, thank you all for your support and um, for for helping with the freeze. Um, and I will catch you all next week with some more bugs.